Welcome, question 9a. Two functions p and q are defined by uh, this and this. We have to find the inverse of the p as the first one. Find the value of x if p uh, of half is the same as the inverse of fourth q. So what do we do? Let's start with the first part, the Roman number one. In order to find the inverse, we need to get the dependent variable y into this equation. So we are going to let y equals to that of p, which is 1 on 2, 3x minus 2 on what? 5. So that's the first thing we need to do. After doing this, we interchange the position of x and y. So we have interchange x for y. I don't know if that will be the English or changing the position of x and y. Meaning where I see y as a right x equals to 1 on 2, 3y minus what? 2 on what? 5. So now the next thing is to make your y a subject. So make y the subject. In making y the subject, we first need to eliminate all fractions. So you multiply through by 2, which is the LCM here, making your 2x equals to 3y minus what? 2 on what? 5. What else do I need? I needed the y. So I am transposing the negative 2. The left become positive. So I can still say that 3y is the same as 2x. Coming in here as a plus of what? 2 on what? 5. And I am going to divide by 3. So y will be nothing but the whole of this divided by 3, which is the same as 1 on 3, 2x plus what? 2 on 5. So therefore, p prime, which is the inverse, will be equals to 1 on 3, 2x plus what? 2 on 5 for the first part, which we are asked to find the inverse. So this is the inverse of for the p function. All right. The next thing to find is to find the p of, uh, of half and know the value. Then you find the inverse of q. Then we can equate the two together. So before I clean the, the q, instead of finding this first, let me find this first so that I can clean this one. So I can also say that, where are we? Roman number two. So let y also equals to, what do I have? Two minus two x, all divided by five minus what? Three x. This is the y equals to this. Remember, interchange the position. I am going to continue without writing it. So that means I have x equals to two minus two y, 5 minus what? 3y. So now I can clean here. Since what is left is find the p of half, which I can easily pick from here. So from here, we are trying to make y the subject, right? So we are sending this here. So what will I do? Let me bring this as negative to the left to become 2y, 5, 3y equals to 2 is left minus what? x. The y is in two places, both numerator and denominator, so we need to expand by cross multiplying. If you cross multiply, you have 2y equals to 2 minus x, multiplying 5 minus what? 3y. y is here, y is here. We need to expand this one here. So 2y will now be equal to 2 times 5, 10. 2 times minus 3, minus 6y, minus 2, minus x times 5, minus 5x, minus x times negative 3y, positive 3y. So now I have y in two places. No, this would be x, y, right? So I have x, y. But still, y is in three places. So I am going to group that as 2y. This is coming as plus. This is coming as negative. Equals to what is left here. 
is just the 10. 1, okay, minus 5 is also in there. I can see right here, these are like them. So I should be having 8y minus 3xy equals to 10 minus 5 what? x. The only thing I need is y, which is in two places. So I can factorize that y out, leaving 8 minus 3x equals to 10 minus what? 5x. What is left is to divide by this baggage. But before we clean, let's keep this in mind. I think I can put this over here. Y equals to y on 2, 3x, 2 on 5. So that we can clear here and deal with the inverse and that of what? P of half. So right from here, I am only going to have my y equals to the left, which is 10 minus 5x divided by the coefficient here. 8 minus what? 3x. So therefore, q prime, which is the inverse, is nothing but 10 minus 5x divided by 8 minus what? 3x. So we know the inverse now. What we need is to find p of what? Half. Meaning, in place of, this is the P of X, right? This is the P of X. In place of X, I put in half. So I should be having 1 on 2 multiplying, 3 multiplying 1 on 2 minus 2 on what? 5. What do I do? This become 1 on 2 multiplying 3 on 2 minus what? 2 on what? 5. In that bracket, I think I can do everything and write my answer. This is going to be 15 minus 4. That would be 11 times this 10. So 11 over 10. So as we be having 1 on 2 times 11 over 10. You know this? This times this 15 times this 4, 11 divided by this 10. So as we be having 11 out of 4, 20. So the value of P of half is 11 over 20. This is the same as this, which implies that P of 1 over 2 is the same as what? Q inverse of, or Q, uh, the inverse of what? Q. So let's do the substitution, putting the value of 11 over 20 here equals to, we are going to have a, uh, this will be 10 minus 5x over 8 minus what? 3x. I think we can cross multiply from here and find the value of x. So right from here, 11 will be multiplying this denominator of 8 minus 3x equals to 20. We will be multiplying your numerator 10 minus 5 what? x. So if you open this, you should be having 88 minus 33x. This will give you 200 minus 100 or x. I guess we can do grouping of like terms. What do we do? Let's send this there and bring this here. Or let's have our minus 33x. Let this one come here as plus 100x equals to the 200 minus what? 88. If we do this, uh, 70, we have uh, 67. I think this is 100 out there. Then we have 22 or 11, 12. So 100 and what? 12. So your x will be 112 divided by what? 67. So let's check that on our calculator and see the value that we are going to have. So I can have that to be 1.67 uh, as two decimal places. I don't know if we're giving uh, how many decimal places to put the answer. If it is not, we can leave it in two decimal places. So the value of x is 1.67. One decimal place will be uh, 1.7. A 
a whole number will be what? 2 if we want to change the position of what? X in this question. I believe well understood. Like, share, comment, subscribe and come back for 9B.